save up. Ain't nobody pay the way for us. Made for me. Hard work and dedication get you in the major leagues. I'm just trying to win. I'll be wondering why they hate on me. Hate on me. Stay down till we came up. Ain't nobody wanna save up. Ain't no what's up? What's up? Starting my Jeep build today. Got this 2017 Jeep Sierra uh, Wrangler Four Door Unlimited. Ordered some parts from Amazon. Today I'm gonna be doing the um, tail lights replacement, and I'm gonna do a gas cap replacement. Um, stay tuned. Got the tail light out. And I got the gas cap cover off. Because it's three pins. I was only able to get these two from the back side right here. Couldn't do this, so I kind of broke it a little bit. Yeah, I want the old one, but that's okay. I gotta go. Let's get that stuff. Now I'm about to do an antenna spot. First side doors off, and the driver's side turn off, back off. Pretty simple tabs. Two more doors to go. Make sure you're taking the doors off. So you do unhook the wire harness underneath and see if it start. And then also unhook the um, strap that keeps it from opening all the way that needs to come off. And the passenger, the back doors, you know, driver and passenger, it's a Apartment right here, you have to pop this off to get in to unhook that wire harness. Uh, nothing I had Googled, it just I figured you know it was gonna be one, and I just reached around, felt it, took those off. Uh, two more doors to go, then I'm gonna put on the custom tubular doors. She's all set. A little hot outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this part inside. It's on this AC, and then I'll go back out and uh, get these wires connected, disconnected to the traction control wires. I'm 
plastic piece first for my toggle switch. Before I go on, I'm not connected anything. So I'm not sure where. You know, you see my wheels are straight, my steering wheel is straight. You know, so what's been happening is if I get over, I think it's 35 miles an hour or something like that, um, the traction control will automatically engage and it causes the brakes to apply and the wheel to jerk. And it's trying to like straighten the wheel up or whatnot. So I've been looking at some YouTube videos and figure out how I could bypass it. Um, I've seen one method where you just you know, yank the fuses out. Um, I didn't really want to go that route because um, I am here in Texas and um, it does ice in the winter and, and you know things like that and I still wanted my vehicle to be safe so I seen another video where you could pull up the cowl that covers the gear box and you can cut into the wires down here and you know put a switch in I got a switch on Switch so you can turn the traction control on and off as is needed uh, without being in the poor mode. So I watched a couple videos and I've seen people saying, hey, you know, don't cut, you know, you cut the purple and blue wire, but make sure you don't cut the dark purple and blue wire because that is to your airbag system. So I'm like, cool, you know, I can tell what's dark and blue and what's light blue. So the purple wire with the, the light blue if they say that you needed to cut so you know pretty good eyes i found that wire snipped it and then turned the ignition on um see if the traction control lights would stay on and <laughs> they went off and the light that was stuck on was the airbag light. so i actually cut the wrong wire based off of what youtube is telling me um, this is a 2017 um, jeep wrangler sahara jk and so I snipped that wire, you know, hey, they say solder it back together, you know, no harm, no foul. So you know, I already snipped the wrong wire. Well, let's try the purple and dark blue wire. Snip the purple and dark blue wire, turn the um, ignition on, and then the traction lights stayed on. So it's actually, if you have a 2017, um, well, in my case, I'm not gonna say if you have a 2017 because I've noticed a lot of parts on the Jeep are new. Um, so I don't know if they switched out that, you know, that wiring harness or whatever they did. And, you know, mine just happened to be the purple and dark blue wire for the traction control. But, um, yeah, in my case, it is the, the purple and dark blue light. Um, so what I'm going to have to do now is um, I have some connectors and whatnot. I'm going to add some more wires because this is like a really tight fit. So I'm going to add some more wires to that light blue and purple anyway and then connect those back together. You know, I do got some weatherproof um, connectors that I can put on there, some heat shrinking ones. So I'll put it back on there, you know, like I said, no harm, no foul. But, um, you know, I'm making this video, so, you know, because people watch videos and do their own work. I've done all my work on my feet myself, besides the lift kit and the wheels. And I watch videos. Um, this one time, I just didn't cross the reference to video. Um, it seemed like a pretty legit video saying, you know, Cut the purple and light blue wire, and you know, voila, you know, they bypass it, they added a switch, 
but in this case um, it wasn't so you know I'm doing this video basically letting you know to make sure you 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 know cross reference these videos and, and find the one that's gonna actually fit for you. Alright so I just got the airbag you know crimp back together um, back on you know I cocked it up a second ago to make sure that those lights for the airbag came off so, uh, I'll do it again for the video purposes and the airbot light came off and I just have the traction control and the ABS light on which I haven't you know, connected those wires yet to the switch Put back together, um, and um, I got a toggle switch in. I got it off right now. Um, a couple things. So when I clip the airbag wire, I thought when I put it back together that the airbag um, the little sensor light or whatever would go off, but um, it's not going off. I have it connected all the way through. I'm not sure why it's not going through. I don't know if I have to, you know, try to reset, you know, computer or something. I don't know. So I just wanted to say about that, that um, airbag light. So I uh, searched on how to reset the light um, because I know I could get the connection and um, I know there wasn't a, you know, breakage connection or a weak connection. Um, I wired them up pretty good. Uh, what the problem was is I needed to reset the airbag lights. So um, I looked at some videos on YouTube and um, one video was telling me, or I read where, you know, you make sure the connections are, you know, secure on the PC. Um, so I did that, you know, by turning the key on in the ignition, the ignition on for seven seconds or you know while the light the um, airbag light is on once it goes off immediately turn it off wait three seconds do it again you know do that three times and then um that should fix it so um, i just tried it and then i just crank up my vehicle and light is gone so you know i got the traction control off what i wanted and the air back light is off so you know we're ready to go